Hey, what's up guys? Gaines Gertz here. So let's cover end range oscillations for the forearms and for the posterior shoulder, okay? Now these end range oscillations, what are they? Again, it's a ballistic stretch followed up with a static stretch. It's just a smarter way to stretch for you guys, okay? It's kind of like combining mobility exercises with stretching. So we can get further increases in range of motion and decrease uh, chronic pain, right? Those aches and pains you get from following an advanced training program are inevitable. We have to mitigate and manage that pain. So this is a forearms. I have a pad here. This is actually a, my book bag. Uh, what I love about these is you can do these anywhere. You don't have to go to a gym to do your self myofascial release and stretching protocols. You can do uh, them at home or wherever you're at. So let's check out this forearms. Okay. Now I'm going to work the anterior compartment of my forearms. Okay. Now these are my flexor muscles, right? So these are the ones that do this grip, grip intensive flexors, okay? All the gripping stuff we do, holding onto barbells, dumbbells, and typing at our desk and texting, a lot of muscles that are involved there at the wrist and the elbow are what we're targeting here. So I'm gonna get into this position. Now I'm trying to get my hands to face the camera. I'm trying to face you guys as much as I can here, okay? Now once I find a comfortable position, some of you guys might even be out here and that's okay. Work with what you have. The more tension you're gonna get, the closer these, the, the, your hands are to your kneecaps and the more anterior focus you have with that arm, right? So I'm trying to get my elbows to face the camera. Once I get into that position, I'm going to do the same 15 to 20 reps oscillations in the end range right there. Just small movements working in and out of that end to my range of motion. Trying to control my breathing as well. Now, on my 15th or 20th rep, I'm going to hold that end range for about a minute here on my forearms. Guys, these are smaller muscles that you probably haven't stretched before. So 45 seconds to a minute is going to be okay on these anterior forearm muscles. Okay, I would hold that end range for uh, 45 to a minute, focusing on deep belly breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, guys. That's a uh, going to send the right signal for these t this tissue to relax. Okay, now let's look at uh, the posterior shoulder real quick. Like I said, so I'm going to stay in my quadruped position, which is four points on the ground. And what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to get comfy with my knees. Use a pad, like I said, so you're not worried about your kneecaps being on the ground. I want you guys to reach one arm through. Okay, I'm stretching my right side. I want you to straighten out that elbow. Okay, and I want you to find a stretch. Okay, maybe you have to push through this left hand a little bit. And I want you to press the back of your hand into the ground. Okay? Create tension. And then I want you to work the same philosophy, pulling away. Pull away from that hand, but don't let it move. Okay? It's a fixed point, and I'm trying to pull my right shoulder away from that fixed point. I'm coming in and out of that end range of motion. Now, you can play with your hand positioning on this. Okay? You can put it back here if that feels better for you. You'll potentially get a little bit more rhomboid and upper trap. You can put it over here so you can get a little bit more of those posterior shoulder, uh, rotator cuff muscles. Find what feels good for you and follow the same protocol on both sides, right? Okay, so I reach, straighten the arm, press the back of my hand into the ground, and I'm gonna pull. Barely any movement, right? There's barely any movement on those end range oscillations. And then I would hold that position for about one to two minutes with deep diaphragmatic breathing once again. So one, guys, ballistic, 15 to 20 reps, followed up with either a 45 second or two minute long stretch depending on what your program says.